hostile Indians have attacked the work train of John Blaine, contractor building a section of Crisp Railroad across the plains. Old Trapper Missouri, learning that the Indians were going to attack, sent Noah Blaine and his sister Anne to Missouri Road for the troops. The Indians, ambushed Noah by a clever ruse, sent Anne on ahead, so he attempted to hold the Indians back. Anne reached the train already under fire and was pulled aboard by her father and Tom Cosby, the new construction engineer. Ranch Judd, enraged at being replaced by Cosby, takes advantage of the attack and orders his henchman Butch Gore to dispose of Tom. I'll go back and tell the engineer. Tell him to run the train right into camp. Now's your chance, folks. Your right shot, and the Indians will get credit for it. enough to wipe out the whole construction cap when they're through the train. Lieutenant, take a detail of men and bring your prisoners back to town. Yes, sir. Guard detail. Pull out. Pull. Attention. Forward. Down. Forward. some of the other men and ride out at once. You do think we can get him, don't you, Dad? Don't worry, Ann. We'll find him if we have to move heaven and earth to do it. Come along.
Thanks, men. We'll get the troop and attack Thunderbird's village in the morning. All right, Mr. Blaine, we'll be with you. Then count on us. All right, boys. Me too, Mr. Blaine. In your hat. Oh, Dad! Where's no one? Did you find him? Found his gun. Near Oak Flat. Looks as though there'd been a fight. Yes, and he'd be better off dead. What do you mean? Well, looks like the boy was took prisoner. And then engines are all fired on pleasant for prisoners. Oh! Dad, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Now, don't get excited, Ann. We'll find some way to save him. Now. <laughs> well, there ain't much we can do. If the troops attack old Thunderbird, the first thing he'll do is kill the boy. Oh, what's the matter with you men? Are you all afraid of this Thunderbird? I'm going to save my brother if I've got to ride out to that Indian camp alone. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I... The troops have old Thunderbird's son, Gray Wolf, a prisoner. Well, what of it? We get Captain Donovan to exchange Gray Wolf for Noah. That's a good idea. Now, you women stay here and quit your worry. Come on, men. <laughs> my hands you see? Sorry, Blaine, but I have no authority to release a prisoner. For Captain, it means my son's life. Yes, and they'll burn him to the stake. You know that, Captain. Yes, I know. But I can't risk the lives of the community to save one individual. With the Grey Wolf as a prisoner, I can force his father, Thunderbird, to a peace to him. That's final, is it, Captain? You won't release Grey Wolf. It isn't that I won't. It's because I haven't the authority. I'd have to speak to the post commander. All right. I'll organize the posse and go after the boy myself. That's the idea, Crosby. Go out and pull old Thunderbird's teepees down. See here, Crosby. Don't you go and get yourself killed by anything. I'm reserving that privilege for myself in accordance with our long-standing agreement. When that time comes, Eaton, you better load up with a lot of bird shot, or you'll never hit me. I can't do either of it. Listen, man. Who ride with me to Thunderbird Village to get no blame? Come on, me, Crosby! I'm with you, Crosby! I'll be right there. I'm riding with you. you. Crosby, I'm your man. This is suicide, Crosby. You'll only start an Indian uprising without being able to save young Blake. Nobody needs to save me. I've saved myself. No, 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 no,
But you're wounded. Oh, that's nothing, Dad. Just a scratch. <laughs> you're lucky to be here, boy. You know, I can't see how you did it. No? Glad to see you, boy. I was just about to organize a posse to come out and get you. <laughs> We're glad you're here, boy, but you sure spiled our fun. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's all for tonight, boy. How did you escape? <laughs> old King found me and chewed me loose. Good old King. Well, I'm glad you escaped. You're trying to persuade me to turn Grey Wolf loose in exchange for him. Grey Wolf? Thunderbird's son? Have you still got him a prisoner? Yes, and I intend to keep him. Uh, Dad, I think I'll go along home and let Sis patch me up and get something to eat. You're right, my boy. Your sister and your Aunt Martha are half crazy with worry. All right. Come on, King. Come on. Now, can you imagine that boy you gave me? Crack up the music. Crack up the music. I'm gonna get you out of here. I know you don't like being a prisoner any better than I do. Good boy! Good boy! Now that's gratitude for you. Where have you been? You started for home ahead of me. Dad, I... I just turned Grey Wolf loose. What? You dare set those savages free? Release prisoners of war? Why, you ought to be... You... I know, Dad. I shouldn't have done it. But I knew how old Thunderbird felt about having his son a prisoner. Like just the way you felt about me. Yes, I know how he felt too, son. And no one but you and I will ever know about this day. All right, that's That's the way we're going, Crosby. A new tunnel goes through that hill. Temporary boring's in now. We're ready to blast. There'll be no blast and no cut. The original survey is 100 yards to the south. Cheaper cut and a shorter haul. Is the new boss, eh, Murphy? Sure looks like we'll all have to go to work in these days. He won't be staying. Just the heck out of that. Work on this section has been delayed so that it's become a scandal in Washington. What are you with? I'm not attenuating anything. I'm telling you facts. Changing the line for this new tunnel the way you have is either gross ignorance or conspiracy to delay the job. All right, I'll see if you feel that way, Bob. I'll go back and see Blaine. And he'll back me up. Butch, show me the entrance to the old tunnel. Hi, Hi, boy. Hey, uh, did you hear about old Grey Wolf? No. What happened? Why, he and the rest of them engines busted out of jail last night. Well, you don't say. Yeah. Broke open the door. Or someone broke it open for him. Swiped a lot of horses and bamboos. Right. Those Indians are pretty smart. Hey, sis. Where are you going? Tom Crosby's inspecting the tunnel, and I'm taking him out to the lunch. You want to come along? No. No, I got to stay and guard the camp against Indians. Oh, I never thought of that. Uh, sis, just a second. Well, what do you got in this lunch? 
bowl. I have uh, a pie that I made and uh, some of Aunt Martha's cookies and all oh, just a lot of nice things. You know, sis, I don't think it's safe for you to ride out there alone, which is just for protection. Yes, as a bodyguard for the lunch. <laughs> just let me help you. <laughs> Are you all right? Yes. <laughs> Here, Noah. Now, you take good care of that lunch. And don't let the engines get it. All right. Let's go. Is the big blast in, Brady? Yeah. She goes off at 12 sharp today, Judd. The boys are clearing out now, getting ready. All right. There's been a lot of talk about delay on this road, and I want it to stop. Shoot that blast at 12 o'clock, and don't let anyone stop you. She'll go off at 12 sharp, and she'll be a dandy. You see, Crosby, this is the old tunnel we abandoned. This cuts into the new boring. Yes. Well, this is the way the line should go. And will go. I reckon Judd will have something to say about that. He seems to think different. Come on in, I'll show you the layout. Look, Noah. There's Tom Crosby going into the old tunnel. You're right, Ann. Let's hurry over there so we can open up this line. Oh, be too bad about you if you didn't get anything to eat. Just quite a few days to get this powder in here. Yeah? How many men do you have on the job? Oh, I don't know. Fourteen or fifteen. Well, here's where I'm going to touch her off. Five minutes to twelve now. How much powder you got in there, Brady? Got enough in there to blow up the whole mouth. We got powder plants all around. I don't know where you walk. Did you have this charge planted? We put in two hundred tanks. Deliberate waste of the railroad money. But that must be crazy to do a thing like that. Maybe he did it on purpose. What do you mean he did it on purpose? That's what I said. I want you to get that powder dug out of there and store it away. I ain't taking no orders from you, Carl. You know what I tell you, Butch? There'll be no glass from this point. Maybe there'll be one from this point. Hold the lunch, sis. You better let me take that lunch, sis. We got quite a walk in there, bud. And that's all you think about is lunch. Something's happened. Why, he hurt. Tom! Tom! What happened? The poor... 